What is going on, guys? How are you doing? Uh, normally, I don't like to make cell phone videos, but I thought, why the hell not? It's Facebook, who cares? Um, this is something I was not going to address or even really worry about. But at the same time, I care about my fans. and I want to make sure you guys know how I feel because you guys really are the best. When I say it in the videos, I mean it. You're the best. Um, that being said, people like to overblow things, which is common on the internet. It happens quite often, as a lot of you know. Uh, a couple weeks ago, Red Letter Media, my favorite YouTube channel. Favorite YouTube channel. Have liked them for, what, 10 years? Was it 07 when they started? So like nine years? 08 maybe? I don't know. Love them. Love their videos. Love, love, love their videos. Always have. You can ask my friends. We'll say things in the Plinket voice all the time. Queen Amidal and the protagonist, we do it all the time. It's the best. I love their videos. Favorite YouTube channel ever. Uh, I've donated money to their website. Multiple times. I've bought their film Space Cop. I watched it. Enjoyed it. Um, never got to talk to them, though. And the first time that I ever got mentioned in one of their videos was jokingly, harmlessly, uh, being referred to as a prick. They, uh, Rich Evans was talking about, uh, uh, oh, the prick, uh, the prick with the red background. You know that one prick? And then they, uh, uh, Mike was like, oh, you're not one of those asshole YouTubers. Uh, which prick is that? And then they had like a picture of uh, of me and Jeremy Johns, my friend. And it was like one of these pricks. And then it, that was their intro. And um, they took like a photo of me that has a blue background and, and used Photoshop to make the background red to sort of make the, the joke punch more, to make it hit more, you know? When you are a huge fan of somebody like that, and that's the first time you ever get mentioned after supporting them for so many years, for me, there was just a moment where I was like, oh, okay. I mean, if that's how they feel about me, then okay, that's fine. And did I say or do anything about it? No. I did remove them from my channel box, though, and it was sort of an impulse decision, and it wasn't something I did in anger, but I think most people in my position, when you go out of your way to promote someone um, without ever being asked, and, and you're just doing it because you love their content, and then the first time they ever seem to notice you is that even though it is a small joke, part of me was kind of like, I guess I don't really want to promote them because I, if that's how they feel about me, because as I said, I've never actually gotten the chance to talk to them or meet them, then I guess they probably don't even want to be promoted by me. So I took them out of my channel box. Impulse decision. They're back there now in my box because I messaged them on Twitter because I realized they follow me on Twitter. And I was like, oh, well, maybe... Okay, well, I'll send him a private message. And I did. And I was like, we're good, right? Like, this is clearly a joke. And they replied almost instantly, like, dude, no one here thinks you're a prick. Like, we're fine, man. It was it was a joke, and, and we weren't even really talking about you. We just kind of threw that photo in there because you're a big YouTuber. And I was like, I figured that, you know, it's all good. We're all friends here. You know, we're all adults. We talked for a bit on Twitter privately, and that was it. No one's upset. No one's angry. No one uh, is mad. Everything's good. We're all adults here, like I said. And the only issue is that I forgot to put them back in my channel box. It's very easy to remove somebody from your channel box. You just click an X. Like I said, it was an impulse thing where I thought to myself, well, if that's really how they feel about me, then I, I guess I don't really have to promote them anymore. But I wasn't going to say anything about it. I can't speak for the, the person in the video that they were clearly making fun of because this isn't the first time they've made fun of that person either. And like I said, he is my friend. So it was kind of like... Mm. But like I said, I <laughs> we talked about it like... Red Letter Media and I actually got to talk about it, and it's fine. No one's mad. No one's angry. Nobody's angry. People are overblowing things, as usual. 
Um, to be honest, to be called a prick by Red Letter Media in a video is kind of a compliment. Because, <laughs> I mean, who who else would you want to call you a prick? Just some random asshole or Plinkett? Fucking Plinkett, of course. Still my favorite YouTube channel, honestly. Um, it was just like this weird thing where I was like, what's what's that about? And then we talked about it. I was like, oh, it's fine. You know, that's what people are. People overblow things. People make something out of nothing. And uh, everyone's happy. Everything's good. I got a shit ton of editing to do, but I wanted to make sure you guys knew the facts. And, uh, excuse me. And we're aware that, uh, yeah, nothing is wrong. <laughs> Everybody's happy. So, have a good day, guys. Look forward to more videos. I am working a lot right now on them. I need to stop eating Domino's pizza, though, because it's so easy to just order a pizza when you're editing. It's so easy to do that. <laughs> you guys have a good one.